There's two things that have prompted me to do this video. One is a recent interaction that I had with another dog owner in the area while I was walking Fuli, and I'll tell you more about that. Second is that I've accepted the fact that 2020 is a complete write-off on every level, my personal life, relationships, business. Uh, when I moved into this place, you know, I told myself, you know, I'm gonna give myself a year before I go out and buy a home of my own. And clearly that's not the case because I'm still here. So I never really put any effort into making this feel like home. Um, but I've accepted the fact that it's gonna be at least another year. So I wanna start making it feel a little bit more like me. And I'm gonna start off with painting this accent wall. Um, I got some furniture coming there from Wayfair soon. So yeah, um, and also I wanna make it look like someone lives here when they do actually come over. So we're gonna start off with that. And I figured, why don't I just make a video while I'm painting my apartment and then I could talk to you guys about proper dog ownership etiquette. So let's get right into it. So if you guys follow me on Instagram already, then you guys already know that I walk fully about 95% of the time off leash. Now, the other day we were at the park, we were playing, I had the chuck it, I was throwing the ball for him, we were playing fetch and he was bringing it back and it was a good time. And then just out of nowhere, this large dog just came running out of nowhere like a bat out of hell. And I was worried because I didn't, I didn't see the owner. So I quickly grabbed Fuli and I was trying to keep this dog uh, away from him because, you know, he was very, very much bigger than him. And I've never seen this dog before. So I was trying to keep some distance between the two. Also, it was very hyperactive. And I look up and then I finally see the owner and she's like running and laughing and yelling that, you know, her dog's friendly. But I don't know that because I don't know this dog and I don't know her. So how am I supposed to know that her dog is friendly? All right, so I'm all for dogs being off leash if they have good recall. And I'm all about socializing dogs. I think it's very necessary for dogs to be socialized. It's really good for their, you know, just social development. They need it and it should be implemented from a young age. However, I'm gonna tell you what I did not like about this particular situation with the dog running up to us. <laughs> have never met they don't know each other so I don't know how these two dogs are gonna react truly he still has his coconuts he's still intact and with other dogs that are neutered um, they react differently to dogs that are still intact they give off a different scent so some dogs they don't really they don't really mesh together so this was my first issue with it uh, Fuli has never shown any kind of signs of uh, aggression towards me towards kids another dog he's been attacked before and i could confidently say that this dog does not um know how to defend himself he does not know how to be aggressive and that's why i'm particularly pretty overprotective of him when it comes uh to him meeting other dogs if you guys have been wondering what paint i'm using and what color this is this is benjamin moore regal 2121-10 Ulti Matte. So this is a different color. Uh, I've never used this and that's it. My back is just absolutely ripped right now. It hurts so much. 
So you're probably wondering what's up with the green tape. Well, pro tip for you, when you're rollering a wall, there's these little speckles of uh, paint that come off the roller. And I'm trying to protect the baseboards because I don't want to repaint them. So that's your pro tip for painting. Now going back to this lady and her dog did not know whether or not I was in a training session with my dog or if I was just playing catch or if he was sick or anything. She just kind of let her dog go off leash, run him off. I don't know if she was calling him and he didn't react. But the point is, is that the dog uh, ran up to us and we didn't really know what was going on. I didn't see her at first until I actually looked up and I saw her like running after her dog. So. Now here's the other thing, this person didn't know if I was scared of big dogs or not, even though I had a dog, but she didn't know if I was scared of big dogs, which in fact I am because um, back in January, while I was traveling in Hungary, I actually got bit by a full grown Cane Corso in the leg. Now, thankfully and luckily, I only had one canine sink into my, my leg, but it's still like it was it was a very like you know stressful situation and it kind of made me um you know think twice about approaching a bigger dog now i don't ever want to be the kind of person that's like i doesn't want to go near a dog i love all dogs and think they're amazing but when i do see a big one now i'm a little bit hesitant because i know the damage that they could do so i try to keep fully away from big dogs too because like i said he doesn't know how to defend himself he doesn't have any aggression in him but I still go out of the way to go meet the dog, pet it, spend a couple minutes with it because I don't want to be scared of a big dog. Um, I think, um, you know, the best way to come over your fears is actually to face them. If you made it this far in the video, um, amazing. I am going to go over some um, basic, uh, you know, introduction, I guess, etiquette of owning a dog. So, um, Stick around for that while I get back to painting. So I think, and I, the reason I say I think because I'm not a trainer, but this is the way that I did it. Maybe there's other ways of doing this, um, but this is what works for me. And I'm just rambling on right now. But when you're out taking your dog out for a walk and you come across someone who has a dog and you want to introduce them, First thing that I think is very necessary when doing that introduction is having both of the dogs on a leash because you want to make sure, what's up bud? I'm trying to do a video over here. Are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Shit. Well, where was I? I think it's very important to have both dogs on a leash. I don't use a leash on Fuli, but I'm also very selective with what dogs he um, encounters and who he plays with. Um, when we do come across a dog that I feel that, you know, is on his level and they can play together, I still make sure that I have control over him. So I grab his collar because anything could happen. Um, the good dogs could react. Maybe one doesn't like it when the other one's sniffing its butt or its face or whatever it may be. So it might lash out. And it's most of the time in the beginning, it's just the warning sign. So I think that's very critical to uh, introducing two dogs for the very first time. And I need this piece over here, this one. Oh. It's also just a really good idea to ask the owner before you introduce the two dogs if their dog is even friendly because sometimes some dogs just don't like other ones and you know you could be putting yourself into a situation where your dog potentially could be getting hurt so you really want to avoid that and 
I really need to finish this before the sun goes down because this thing would take me out. All right, and we're back. Um, so Fuli's fed, we just came back from our walk. So he's good, he's chilling out. So I think my last tip for you guys is when you guys are introducing your dogs uh, to another dog, is to make sure that you pay attention to their body language. Pay attention to the other dog's body language and just make sure that you're keeping an eye out on their body language. How many times did I say body language there? Anyways. You want to pay attention to their body language. Um, if they look standoffish, then you might want to take a pass on that introduction. Or if you see that they're, you know, wagging their tail and they're very excited, then I think it's pretty safe to say that, you know, the two dogs are accepting of each other. These are the steps that I take uh, when introducing my dog to another dog in our community. Um, it's not the end all be all. I'm sure that there's other more effective ways of doing this, but these are kind of the steps that I take and what has worked for me. So hopefully it will help you. Um, and that's it. Um, a few videos back, I had some people ask me in the comments where they could grab these My Possum Frenchie sweaters. So I've left the link down in the description for you guys to the My Possum Frenchie store. There's some sweaters and some t-shirts there. So go check them out. If you like them, you get one. And Fulu would really appreciate it. I know I would. And I think that's it. Let me know what you guys think of this new wall color and the shelf. I'm really digging it. I think this might be the new setup uh, for videos moving forward. I think this is where I'm gonna be filming. Um, yeah, and I guess that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. <laughs>